Welcome to Year 10 GCSE Art, Craft and Design. In this course, you will be doing 60% coursework. Um, you will start that in Year 10. Um, and first of all, you'll be doing skills development where you develop your drawing skills, painting skills, printmaking and photography skills. Uh, using all different mediums. So for example, with painting, you'll be doing watercolour painting, acrylic painting, oil painting. Um, with the next project, it's the theme is identity and you can um, produce a final outcome um, that relates to the theme identity. And again, you'll be developing your skills in drawing, painting, photography, ceramics and other 3D work. Then in year 11, you do a revolution project. Uh, with this project, we give you more freedom to choose how you want to interpret the project. And it's up to you what type of media you would like to use. After Christmas, you will start the exam unit. This is 40% of the course. And this is a project um, set by the exam board. The theme changes every year. So previous themes have been reflection, event, order and disorder. So they're very broad themes and it's entirely up to you how you want to interpret the themes. So within the GCSE Art, Craft and Design course, um, we have the Edexcel exam board and there are four assessment objectives. Assessment objective one is developing your ideas through investigations, demonstrating critical understanding of sources. So for this assessment objective, you will be researching the work of different artists, craftspeople and designers and different genres of art. Um, you'll do written research based on the artist's work and you will also do your own response um, using the style or subject matter of the artist. In assessment objective two, you will be exploring ideas, selecting and experimenting with appropriate media, materials, techniques and processes. So you'll be refining your work by using as wide a range of different materials as possible. So on the left, you can see um, a mixed media piece done with different types of pastel. Um, then the next one is ink and bleach. Um, and then on the right, you can see oil pastel and different mono printing and drawing skills and also watercolor painting. So use as many different materials and techniques. So assessment objective three is recording your ideas, observations and insights relevant to your intentions as your work progresses. So we would encourage you to take your own photographs as um, first hand source um, to base your artwork on. So you'll be developing your photography skills and also you'll be recording through observational drawing work. So you can see that the students here, they've started off by taking photographs and then done observational drawings based on those photographs. Um, AO3 is also your annotations for your practical work where you are writing about and evaluating um, the process of your artwork. Assessment objective four is presenting a personal and meaningful response that realises intentions and demonstrates understanding of visual language. So here you can see um, some of the planning work that you would do before producing a final piece. So usually you would have a mock exam and you would have 10 hours spread out over two days where you would be producing a large scale ambitious artwork and that will be at the end of each project. And you can see some examples of final pieces here and the planning involved with it. 
So as well as um, your lessons, there will also be out of classroom opportunities. So twice a year at Christmas and in the summer, we have um, art exhibitions that coincide with the creative arts showcases. Um, we also have visiting artists that come into school and do workshops with students. And we also organise visits to galleries. So there are many career paths for um, people who are studying art and design. So the main different career paths are interaction design, um, which would include sort of digital design, app design, web design, product design, which would be things like digital product producer, design engineer, furniture manufacturer, product developer and furniture designer. Um, there's also photography and video. You could be a freelance photographer, gallery curator, photojournalist, photographic technician or media researcher. Then textile art, design and fashion. Um, there's a very wide range of careers within the textile and fashion industry. Um, graphic design and illustration. Um, there's a whole range of design um, associated with publishing and brands and fine art. Um, you could become an artist, a sculptor, a photographer, and you would have your work um, exhibited in galleries. You could curate an art gallery. You could become an artist in residence or you could do art for um, charities and the voluntary sector. Um, then if you want to go into ceramics, jewellery or silversmithing, um, they are also good careers. And then within animation, there is a very wide range um, of kind of roles within that field. So as you can see, there's a very wide range of careers within art and design.